Hey guys, and welcome to Education 3520, Intervention Strategies and Techniques in Spring of 2021. I know that everybody's excited to get going with this new course in the new year, so let's dive into it. First of all, I'm Josh Cooper. I'll be your instructor. Everything that we do in this course will be online, so I will be uploading videos weekly on Wednesdays, and all of your assignments are due on Fridays by midnight. So running through the syllabus. Um, first of all, my information is listed, uh, my office phone number and my email. I like to communicate primarily through email, so please email me if you have any questions. The resources for this class, um, first of all, the book, The Differentiated Classroom. Uh, make sure that you guys get this. We are going to start reading in it next week. It's really beneficial. Uh, I've used it in a couple of courses that I've taken myself and I've co-taught a couple courses with it. Um, also, Ohio Learning Standards. So the next couple pages after the course description are your objectives and then there are, is a very long list of standards that we cover in this course. I'm not gonna go through all those. Um, I will go over the description and the objectives really quickly though. This course will provide pre-service teachers with opportunities to develop classroom management and instructional methodologies for children who have reading disorders, such as dyslexia, and those who struggle with behavioral, emotional, developmental, and physical disabilities. Candidates will also explore the needs of students who have been affected by substance abuse, um, substance addiction, and adverse child experiences. This course will focus on research-based interventions, strategies and accommodations for inclusive settings so that the needs of all students are being met in their least restrictive environment. Objectives. The teacher candidate will differentiate instruction and activities for all learners and learning styles, discuss how or discuss and determine how to assess and evaluate students who require testing and their accommodations, determine how to execute ways to provide physical and adaptive accommodations as well as research-based strategies, techniques, interventions to all students with various disabilities, learn how to collaborate and partner with all related services and therapy providers, examine the opioid epidemic as well as various kinds of substance abuse and be able to provide research-based intervention to adequately accommodate students with a variety of sensory, physical, behavioral, emotional, and developmental disabilities. So moving past the standards, um, we jump into the incomplete policy, and this is university-wide. A grade of incomplete may be granted when a student is prevented from finishing coursework on time by extenuating, extenuating circumstances such as hospitalization. A majority of coursework can be completed prior to a request. Some work, such as participatory activities, team exercises, and online discussions cannot be made up. Students may request an I grade by submitting the incomplete grade request form available online or in the registrar's office no later than the last week of the course. If the emergency occurs in the last week of the, uh, the course, the request must be made no later than 14 days after the end of the course. Student, uh, the withdrawal policy um, is basically the same university-wide, so I'm not going to jump into that. Um, academic dishonesty. Students are expected to be honest in all their academic work and are responsible for their own work for course requirements. Scholastic dishonesty is a violation of both academic standards and biblical teachings, and it is an affront to other students and the faculty. Academic dishonesty includes cheating, plagiarism, submitting a paper or project that wasn't entirely done by you or was entirely done by somebody else submitting the same paper as someone else and not going to your field experience or forging your cooperating teacher's signature. We don't have field in this course, so you don't have to worry about that one. Uh, disability services. Ohio Christian is committed to the entire student body, including those who need accommodations for disabilities in accordance with Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 and the Americans with Disabilities Act, the university will provide reasonable and appropriate accommodations for individuals with disabilities on a case-by-case -case basis. Accommodations are made in relation to a documented disability. 
The university will collaborate through its 504 compliance officer with appropriate external agencies to provide some accommodations. 504 compliance officer is responsible for coordinating Ohio Christian University's effort in complying with applicable federal and state laws and regulations, including the university's duty to address any inquiries or complaints regarding discrimination or denial of equal access. Student must complete the form provided by the compliance officer with appropriate documentation. The documentation must be within three years of the first request to OCU, must include information that, diagno uh, that diagnoses the disability, that indicates the severity and the longevity of the condition, and that offers recommendations for necessary and appropriate auxiliary aids or services, academic adjustments, or other accommodations in addition to this form. A qualified professional must complete the verification of disability form provided at the link below. Any additional questions or comments, you can direct them to the compliance officer, and I have placed their contact information in the syllabus. Attendance policy. So this is the attendance policy that is from the university. Um, as far as this course goes, we have a participation requirement that will be your attendance policy. So that is as follows. You are required to participate in the course discussion board. Each week we'll have a different discussion board. Um, I will post a guiding question or statement, um, basically the theme of the discussion board, and you need to comment twice, and that's it. Um, also, you need to send me uh, your question of the week for the weekly video. So let's go into assignments for this course. As I said before, you're going to get five points a week for participation in the class. The next assignment is the annotated bibliographies. So in these, you will identify, read, and annotate a peer-reviewed journal article related to course readings. Remember that a scholarly annotation both summarizes and evaluates an article. For the purposes of this one to two page single spaced assignment, you should do both. You're required to complete five ABs. Each of those is worth 100 points. So there's 500 points. Four ABs, differentiated mini lessons. Students will prepare five lessons with differentiation for various exceptional learners and present it in a 10 to 15 minute video. This video will either be uploaded onto YouTube or you can send me a direct link. It is much easier for you to upload them to YouTube. Um, as soon as you get them uploaded, they're there forever. We don't have to worry about it getting lost in the email that has happened in some past courses. Um, some files were too big to send, so it got a little messy. Each of those will be worth 100 points. A, your final assignment um, is going to be a research paper that's three pages, 12.5, APA format. It'll have a title and a reference page. Those are not included in the content pages, obviously, but um, the rubric is included. Uh, you will have a midterm exam that is a comprehensive test. It'll be posted online, and you will have a final exam that follows the same format. So, in total, there are 2,000 points available in this course. Let's talk about late assignments. In the world of education, you will have many deadlines to meet. Your principal will expect that your grades will be submitted on time, lesson plans turned in, and your documents written by a specific date. An assignment not turned in on the day it is due is considered a late assignment. A student has one week to turn in a late assignment with a 10% reduction in points. After this one week period, late work will not be accepted. So to make this perfectly clear, if you don't have your assignment in by 11.59 on the due date, it is late. You can turn it in any time for the next week and you'll have a 10% reduction in your score. After one week, it is null and void. You'll receive no points for that assignment. This course includes discussion posts that are due on Fridays by 11.59 with responses to at least two peers completed by the following Thursday at 11.59. Discussion posts that are late will not receive credit. So you guys, I will post your discussion post um, probably on Friday. You guys will be able to make your initial response and then comment on other people. So just to get us some interaction, um, I'm not the most 
Um, I'm not a big fan of discussion boards, but with us not being able to get together, I think that it's important that we do have conversations. So I'm not going to grade you on the content. I'm going to just grade you on interacting with each other. All right. So if you look at your course schedule this week, we are simply doing the overview. Next week, you are reading chapter one and your AB1 is due by the 15th at 11.59. Um, the next week, you are reading chapter two. Mini lesson number one is due. Uh, the week of the 25th, you're reading chapter three. AB number two is due. Week of the first, February 1st, mini lesson two is due and you're reading chapter four. Chapter five will be read the week of February 8th and AB three is due. On the uh, week of the 15th, you guys are reading pages 80 through 101, which I believe, sorry, is chapter six. Uh, chapter seven it will be read the week of the 22nd. Navy number four is due. Chapter eight, the week of March 1st. Mini lesson number four is due. The week of March 8th, AB number five is due, and you will read chapter nine. The week of the 15th, mini lesson number five is due, and you will read chapter 10. Uh, the weeks of the 22nd, 29th, and April 5th are all weeks dedicated to your research paper. So what we are going to do, I will post content videos. We'll still have some discussions um, and I will answer your questions, but you guys won't have any reading or any other assignments. Um, I think that that's pretty fair to have three weeks to do three pages of research. So uh, finally on the 19th, you will have your final and it will be due by 11.59 on the 23rd. Okay, so with all that in the books, um, take a minute to look at the rubric on your own. Um, email me with any questions. First discussion board will go up on Monday. I hope that you all are safe and I look forward to the semester. God bless.